secondary school, I used to cut my eyelashes. But I have to explain why. I only started wearing contact lenses after NS uh, when I started going into acting school. So before that, I was always wearing glasses and I would be playing a lot of sports, like I was on the basketball team and the football team and all that. And my eyelashes are so long that they were like reverse windshield wipers, making everything wet and sweaty. So they just got in my way and I had to cut them. But you want to zoom in? I kind of can't, I don't know if you can see from there. Oh la la! Uh, behind my family's back, actually I bought two bikes, two motorbikes, but I only told them I bought one. Yeah, but I already sold them both, so it's not a secret anymore. I can think of one time where I kind of told a lie to my, my dad because <laughs> I wanted to borrow the car but it was like late at night and you know, the, driving out of the porch, I had to open again and get, out, get the car out of the porch. He would definitely hear it from his bedroom, you know. So I shot him a text uh, saying, I'm sorry dad, I, I need to take the car because there's an emergency. Um, but really I was just meeting someone. <laughs> this is a confession that might get me in trouble with some friends, but uh, I don't understand why they really like this particular anime called Demon Slayer. It is exceedingly popular all across the world, but I watched the whole thing. I even watched the movie. I don't understand why. And no, they don't know yet. But they do now, and we might not be friends anymore. I recently participated in a variety program. I actually went ahead and um, did a very high-risk activity that involves me falling from a high altitude. If my mom watches this promo, she would have sort of guessed what it was. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> when I was around seven years old, I found a dying sparrow on the road. So I brought it home and thought I would nurse it. But then it died. And I didn't want to bury it, so I kept it in a box in my drawer. I thought I could keep it forever. And then a week later, my house started smelling really bad. It was the dead sparrow and it was decaying and it was really like smelling really, really bad. So I had to throw it away. So back then when I was younger, my, one of my closest secrets is actually I'm an anime freak and I'm actually a gamer. So at times I go home and I say, hey, what are you doing? And I'll be like, nah, I'm busy today actually. But I'm actually going on just playing my games through six hours, seven hours. It's only gradually. Mom was like, you can't imagine you're not going to do anything. Then I was like, I'm not going to do anything. We'll see. So, so it's like gradually figured out I'm quite a gamer. I'm quite, quite a nerd. I'm quite an introvert at home. And did they stop asking you out eventually? Yeah, they did. <laughs>